Well, hello everyone and happy Saturday. This is Lisa Freeman from StampingWithLisa.com joining you live at 7 o'clock on Saturday, October 30th, I think it is. Uh, yeah, because tomorrow's Halloween, so it's October 30th. And we are doing a cool thing tonight. We're doing some framed art and it matches the card that we did the other day. So this was the bridge card that I did the other day in class with the snowman and the peaceful cabin. Um, stamp set and it is so adorable and I forgot to show you guys the envelope the other day because I didn't really have it my friend Karen actually was in class the other day and um, she did her envelope and I was like oh my gosh that's so cute I gotta copy it so I don't need, I don't know why I just don't usually do the envelopes but I thought it was so cute so that was the card from like a week ago and then I did this framed art to go with it so hopefully you can see it. Let me get my computer going and see what you guys are seeing. I know it's probably got a glare because of the glass. So let me see. Hopefully that will take care of it. Hey, Marsha. Hey, Diane. Make sure you put a comment on if you're watching so I can um, see who's on here. So hopefully, okay, now you can see it, I think, without the glare. So I used the paper from um, the Peaceful Cabin Suite, which is called Peaceful Place, I think. And I just cut up some of the pieces and then um, did Misty Moonlight for the background of all of them. And I used the Peaceful Cabin stamp set and the Snow Wonder stamp set. And also um, Nature's Beauty, I forgot about that for the bunny. Um, and actually that Merry Christmas comes from, I think the Poinsettia set. I forgot about that too. So I just grabbed a few things from different sets, but um, most of it is from Peaceful Cabin and Snow Wonder and then the Peaceful Place paper. Hey Susan. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to make this tonight so you can do it yourself. This is an eight by 10 frame that I got at Michael's. They come three in a pack and I think they're usually like $30, but you can get them on sale a lot of times for half price. So um, usually it comes out to around five or six dollars per frame I think um, but I'm sure I got these on sale because I don't ever pay full price for anything so we're gonna get started in just a second I want to show you um, well I want to wait and let a couple more people get on here but I don't want to lay this down because it has such a glare on it but okay let me show you some of the winners that we've got I picked a few card winners so we've got um, this card is Helen Peck the winner. So Helen, if you are watching, make sure you send me your address so I can send you this gorgeous card. This is one of my favorite cards that I made with this stamp set, the um, Eden's Garden. And this stamp set will be available to everyone on November 2nd, which is Tuesday. So right now only demonstrators can get it, but Tuesday everybody can. And then this one is Denise Ward. You won the Northern Lights card. And then I picked a couple new winners because I didn't hear from the people that I'd picked before. So we've got two new winners. So Karen Creamer, you won this one with the poinsettia. That was the red one. And this is the blue one, Donna McCarty, you won this one. So you guys send me your addresses and I will send those out to you. And then, um, so we're using these stamp sets and I forgot about a couple more. So besides these, you also need Nature's Beauty and... Um, I think the poinsettia one has that. Merry Christmas. All right, so you need Snow Wonder and the dies and Peaceful Cabin and the dies, and that's the main ones that we're using. So get those if you don't have them yet. And then you also need this Peaceful Place paper, which is absolutely gorgeous. So let me show you. Hey, Sharon. Um, I know I've showed this before. Uh-oh, I already have it open this way. I don't know. I cut the top so I didn't have to keep opening it with the sticky part. All right, so I used a bunch of different pieces in here. So this piece that had the big uh, trees on them actually is where I got the snowflake piece from, I think. And then this one right here that had the silver trees on it, I just cut these pieces down into really small pieces. So I just took like this much of it. So I cut off all the white and then just trimmed the trees down. So one piece we did that. And then I didn't use that one. And there was one piece in here. I wanted to show you how I did this one. So this one is a little bit complicated because what I did 
right here. I got this tree by itself. So I cut this into six by six right here. And then I cut this piece because that's what goes right here. That's three and a quarter by three and a quarter. So I cut at three and a quarter here this way. And then I just trimmed this part right here to three and a quarter. And then this piece was left over and then I just trimmed it down to um, fit that right there. So that's how I did this piece right here. So you could get four of these out of one sheet. All right, so I'm gonna show you exactly the pieces you need. Oh, I got one more thing to show you real quick. I got another birthday gift in the mail from my friend Gina Tadula, Tudela, Tudela. I always say her name backwards. Um, all right, so she sent me this really cute tin full of candy. And then inside, it's got, thank you, isn't that so sweet? And it says, Hello, you truly inspire me. I just love it, love it, love it. And I got some candy corn, which I also love. You know I'm a sugar addict. Then I got this cute Halloween card, which I think is adorable. And I also got this card with the um, Forever Fern stamp set, which is also one of my favorites. So Gina, thank you so much for those cute gifts. I just love them, love them, love them. All right, so. Let's get started. Let me show you. Hey, Pam. All right, so we've got a ton of pieces of paper, but I have all the measurements. So you can either take a screenshot. I'll probably have to put them in two screenshots or you can write them down. Um, I, I'm gonna spread them out for you. So back pieces, we'll start with the biggest ones. These are the back pieces. So you need an eight by 10 piece of black and a six and three quarters by eight and three quarters white. And that's for the backing. And then you need a piece of four by four Misty Moonlight. And these two go together. So this is the designer series paper with the little trees. And that's three and three quarters by three and three quarters. So those two go together. Let me move that up there. Hopefully you can still see it. So we've got these two pieces and then the white and I'll stick a few more on here and then we'll take a screenshot. Um, let's see, here's the big tree. So we've got those two together. So five by two and one eighth, Misty Moonlight, and then the piece that goes with it is four and three quarters by one and seven eighths. That's the big tree. So those two go together. Then we've got, let me see, these two. I'm running out of room already. All right, so three and two, two and a quarter, three by two and a quarter, misty moonlight, and two and three quarters by two of the snowflake piece. So that's this one right here the, with the little snowflakes. So those two, and I think I can fit one more on here, and then we'll do the rest on another one. So three and a quarter by two and one eighth, misty moonlight, and three by one and seven eighths of the paper, of the peaceful place paper. And this is one that I was just talking about a minute ago that I trimmed down for these trees. So that is a big giant piece that you can cut down. All right, so take a screenshot of that and then I'm gonna put down the rest of it. Hey, Diane. Okay, so that's a lot of pieces there, I know. Okay, so we're gonna take these all up. Hopefully you got a screenshot of that. If not, if you don't know how to do a screenshot or you're just not you know, technology inclined, then what you can do is just pause your camera or your um, video and just write down the measurements. All right, so that's the first set. Then we've got two pieces of, th of white, three and a quarter by two and three quarters. This one is for the snowman, and this one is for the cabin, three by two and a quarter. Then we've got these two pieces, four and one eighth, four by one and one eighth of Misty Moonlight, and three and three quarters by seven eighths of white. Those are for the words. And we're almost done, and then we've got Three and one, three by one and five eighths misty moonlight, two and three quarters by one and three eighths white, and then the rest is scraps. So you need three scraps, uh, one for the punch in misty moonlight, one for the punch in white, and then one for the bunny in white, and that's it. So two sets of papers. So take a screenshot of that one and the other one, and then you should be good to go. It was a lot of cutting, but it came out so pretty. So, um, okay, so I'm gonna start. I'm just gonna leave the little tags on for now because I will forget which piece is which. 
All right, so what we're gonna do is stamp everything first. So I'm gonna start with my cabin and the snowman. So this piece is for my cabin and I'm gonna do that in the early espresso. So we're using early espresso. And let me straighten this out just a touch. All right, so our cabin is not gonna fit all the way on here. So you're gonna have to go right off the edge a little bit. So you're just gonna make sure you get the top part. And there you go. Just make sure like the side parts on there. As long as you get this part and this part, you're good. Um, that looks pretty good. All right, so we've got that. Then we're gonna do the snowman on this one. And he goes in black. So we've got the memento black with the snowman. I don't know why I didn't put this away. Oh, I'm gonna leave it out for the bunny, that's why. I just got something on there. All right, we're gonna ink this up in the black. And that's the only thing we're doing in black. And the snowman goes on here and you just wanna make sure you don't cut off his head. I cut this paper like exactly the right size. <laughs> so it just fits on there perfectly. Isn't that the cutest snowman ever? I just love him. Or her, you could make it a girl snowman. All right, and then you're gonna cut those out. So we've got the dies for those right here. So you put him on here, line it up, get your washi tape and hold it. And then he's gonna pop out like that. So we cut that one out, then we cut our cabin out. So right here we've got our cabin. Put that down and it's just gonna cut the top part off. So it leaves the bottom right here with the snow. So you cut that out and then you're left with this one. So then we've got those two pieces done. Then we're gonna do the bunny. So we need a scrap of white for the bunny. So we'll do him in the memento, also, I mean not memento, in the espresso, sorry. And we don't have a dye for him, so actually that's really light. I'm gonna try and do another one darker. That's too light. I need to re-ink, but that's better. And we're just going to rip him off because we got to cut that out in a minute. All right, so we're done with that for now. So now we're going to go to, let me see, the trees. So we can stamp our trees on here. And I'm going to get my scrap paper out now. So on this piece, we're going to do the trees in um, Smoky Slate. And what I'm going to do is just ink up the two right here. So we're gonna take these two trees and this little skinny piece and we're gonna put them just a little bit, maybe like an inch from the bottom and stamp right there. Then what I'm gonna do is ink, ink up this one by itself and stamp off and I'm gonna put that one right in the middle of those two. So now you've got one in the middle kind of in the back. So that one's done. So the trees are done. And then, let's see, what's next? Let's do the words. So we've got words in blue, and also I need to punch out our punches. So we're gonna do that real quick. And this is the Elegant Tag Punch, which is one of my favorites. So you need one of those, and then you need one in the Misty Moonlight. <laughs> I've got all these little pieces of paper here now. Uh, do that one. And you're done with the punch. So put that away. And then we're gonna stamp our words on these two pieces. So we need the Misty Moonlight and our words. And hey, Melinda. Hey, Danette. Hey, Deborah. Oh, you're in New Jersey now. You made it there safely, that's good. All right, so we're gonna do the words right here. Hopefully I'll get it straight since I can't see right on top of it. Hopefully that's good. Yep, pretty good. All right, and then we're gonna do the other words. Merry Christmas, also in the same color. This is Misty Moonlight. So stick that right there in the middle. And boom, we're done with that one. All right, so we've got most everything stamped. And now we can start to color. 
Let me get all these little pieces of paper out of the way. Clean off my desk a little bit. All right, so now what we're gonna do is color the snowman and the bunny. So the bunny is really easy. You just have, need two colors. You need um, light and dark crumb cake and the color lifter. So we're gonna start with the dark. And I'm just gonna use the skinny tip and we're just gonna go around where all the dark areas are, we're just gonna go in there. So I'm just gonna kinda color. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna blend with the light crumb cake and everything will smooth out with that one. So I'm just gonna do mostly the, wherever that black um, mark, well not really black because I did it in espresso. Wherever those little marks are though, that's what we're gonna do in the darker color. And I'm gonna leave the tail white. And then we're gonna go back over that with the light crumb cake. And I'm gonna use the fat tip for that one, the brush tip, and just go over the whole entire thing. And it's gonna blend all together. And it looks so cute. And then the last thing you do is you take your magic eraser, which is the color lifter, and you're gonna go and highlight some of the areas that are darker that you want lighter. So I'm just gonna take it and go kind of around his eye a little bit and just in here a little bit and just lighten that up and kind of in his ear. So that just takes a little bit of the color off and lightens him up. So then he's so cute. And then we're gonna do the snowman. So for the snowman, we're gonna take uh, let's start with the red. This is the marker, real red. And we're just gonna color these little berries here. Like that. And then I've got orange for the nose. This is pumpkin pie. And these are the markers right here. I was using the blends for the bunny and we're gonna use the blends in a second too. But I just like the marker for these little teeny tiny pieces right here. So the holly is going to be green, and this is Mossy Meadow. So we did those in regular markers. Now we're going to go to the blends. So I'm going to take Pool Party, and I'm just going to do this part and around his body with Pool Party just to give him some color. You could also use, like, gray or uh, maybe the light crumb cake. I don't know. I would stick more with the bluish gray, though. So we don't want him to be just all white. And then a little bit on his face. All right, so that's the pool party. And then, let's do a little bit more down here. Then we're gonna take the, what is this? Light Misty Moonlight. And we're gonna color his hat or her hat. I think it looks more like a girl snowman, like a snow woman. She could be a snow woman. And we're gonna do the scarf. And also the eyes and mouth and buttons, but I'm gonna use the thinner tip for that. So we're gonna do the eyes. She's got blue eyes and buttons. And then I'm gonna go back with the color lifter. So you're gonna use the white magic eraser. This is what I'd like to call it, the magic eraser. And you're just gonna put a little bit right here, take off a little bit of color there. And I just kind of go down the scarf like that and just gonna take a little bit of color off. It does take a couple seconds to work. But when it does, it gives it like more dimension in there. So it's not like all just dark blue. So it's kind of like different shades of blue. So as it dries, it'll get lighter. So that's our snow woman. We gotta cut the bunny out. And this is not really hard. We, I was surprised that, you know, we did this in class um, yesterday and the day before. And it really only took, I had a whole group in both classes. And I think it took just about an hour, maybe a few minutes more than an hour for everybody to do it. And that was, you know, passing everything around the table and going slow. So I think just doing it by myself for this video, we might be able to do it in like 30 minutes if I don't talk too much. I can tell you about my day. I can hardly walk right now, I'm so sore. I went um, to my mother's house. Oh, hey Maureen, how are you doing? Watching from 
from where? Oh, Delaware. Um, you know, I think if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, I've told you about my mother. So she's got, she lives in this, uh, place for like older people and they're renovating. So they're making everybody pack up their stuff and they're going to have to move temporarily while they renovate and then they're going to move them back in. So I've been helping her clean out her apartment for like months now. And I'm not sure when they're going to start, but probably in the next couple months. And she's a hoarder. And she has been hoarding stuff forever. So it's been really a, uh, a really hard thing for me because I'm not, well, I mean, I am that way with stamps, but not much else. So going over there and trying to get, get her to get rid of stuff has been really hard. And it's been a lot of work. And, you know, I'm not in, like, in the greatest shape. <laughs> so <laughs> after doing that cleaning all day long, I was pooped. All right, for this one, <clears throat> we're going to cut this part right here. And I had to come home and mow the grass. So needless to say, I am pooped. All right, we're going to put, oh, actually, I want to sponge this real quick or blend it with the blends. And this I need to cut out too. So we're just going to cut the very bottom part of this off. And do this just like this. You don't have to be perfect, but just kind of round out the bottom. All right, so everything is cut out now. We need to sponge. And let me get all these other pieces to sponge. Because we have a lot of sponging to do. Well, blending. I should say blending. Oops, and the ribbon. Oh, I forgot to tell you about the ribbon. You also need a piece of ribbon that's about three inches, three to four inches. And that is the, what's it called? White glittered organdy ribbon. That's in the holiday mini catalog. So we're going to be um, blending that with the blending brush. So we need the Misty Moonlight back. And we're just going to start blending everything. So we're going to start with this. So you just want to dab your brush in there. Hey, Laura. Hey, Sandy. How are you? All right. So we've got our blending brush. Dip it in the Misty Moonlight and just sponge it. And I'm just going down to like where the bottom of the trees are. So we still have the snow at the bottom. But we're just doing the sky. So that looks good. I love that. I love using these brushes. If you guys don't have these brushes, you have got to get them. I have like 30 of them, I think. <laughs> At first I was using like one for all the blues and one for like all the pinks. And now I just keep getting more and more and I'm just like, I love them. I use them so much. So now I've got one for almost every color, I think. All right. So there's our tree. And then we're going to do these trees. So the trees, you're just doing like the top half. You don't want to get down into where the snow is. And then one more set of trees here. We're going to just do like the top part of that. All right. And then I want to do the words very lightly. And so who is in their pajamas now besides me? <laughs> You've not had one trick-or-treater. Well, tomorrow is Halloween. Today's not Halloween. Catching your video. How come you guys are having trick-or-treaters today? Because today is um, the 30th, and tomorrow is Halloween. We don't have any trick-or-treaters at all tonight, because ours only trick-or-treat on Halloween. That's funny. Do you guys in different states or different places do trick-or-treating on the wrong day? Oh, your neighborhood does it today? Oh, because it's Saturday? I guess that makes sense because Sunday's a school night. But um, we just do it whatever day it is here. Um, so tomorrow, and they can only do it like, I live in Chesapeake, Virginia. They can only do it from 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock. So um, that's it. Two hours and they're done. This is the first Halloween I haven't had to work in forever. Usually I'm at work, so I don't even have to worry about it. So, I don't know if I'm going to do it or not. <laughs> My old house didn't have any kids anywhere around, so we never had trick or treats. Oh, I forgot to do the ribbon. Hold on. Oh, all right. Let's just do the ribbon real quick. 
And this ribbon is so pretty. Can you guys see all the sparkle on it? Love it. And I never, you know, I do color my ribbon a lot, but I usually do the white um, seam binding ribbon is the one that I color all the time. Or the other, there's another white one that I color. I didn't think about coloring this one because it's kind of sheer and I didn't even think about it. But then I got a card from somebody. I can't even remember who it was now, but I got a birthday card and it had um, this ribbon sponged in the blue. And I was like, oh, that's so pretty. All right, so that's good. All right, so I think we are ready to put it together. And I forgot to do Wink of Stella on the bunny. Let me do that real quick. Oh, and on the hat. Well, actually, I'll wait and do this one. But I can do the bunny right now real quick. So we just want to put a little bit of Wink of Stella on him and on his tail to make him sparkly. So I know you guys probably can't see that because you can't see the Wink of Stella in the camera very good. But... That's so cute. All right, so we're going to start putting the pieces together. So now let's get everything together and put them all together. So it's pretty easy to tell which one's which, and you can kind of go by process of elimination if you can't figure it out. But um, like these two go together, so we're going to glue those. So see, we're almost done. All we got to do is put it together now. So stick that on. So this is a pretty easy project and most people who came to class said that they were going to give it away as a Christmas gift. So it makes a really good Christmas gift. Um, hey Beverly, how you doing? Linda says ours is 6 to 730. Some places do not do it on Sunday. Oh, I can see that. I can see why. Yep. But um, I guess here they don't care. So they're doing it Sunday. There are a lot of places like churches and stuff doing trunk or treats tonight. Um, but I'm guessing, I don't know. I, you know, I have worked like the last eight or nine years I've worked on Halloween, so I haven't been at home. So I don't know. I do have candy to give out though. And I buy the good stuff. All right. So the cabin we're going to put on here with glue and we want the cabin to go right here. So the chimney is between these two trees and we just want them right on the edge of these trees. So we're going to. Just put the glue on the back. Oops. That's not good. I got glue on there. Darn it. Okay. So put him right on the edge of the trees. And then you want that chimney between those trees. So we're good. I can't believe I got... Well, we'll just stamp the fence there. Oh, I got to do that too. Let me stamp the fence real quick. We just need this one. So we're just going to ink that up real quick. And I should have done that before I put it on the blue. Okay, let's get a little piece of scrap paper. And put that right there. All right, so we want this fence. To, well, actually, I'm going to do the whole fence. So let's do it right here. Darn, I want to cover that little spot. Let's go ahead and stamp it right there so it'll cover my goof up. Then you can't tell. All right, and then I'm going to put the other one, like, kind of off the page. So so if you ever glue your paper down and realize you got to stamp something else, it's okay. Just put something under there, like a post-it. All right, so we'll just have the other piece coming out like that. So that looks pretty good. So that is done, except for Wink of Stella. So we need some Wink of Stella on here. All over the roof. Oh, this one's kind of dry. This one's not much better. Hold on, let me get squeeze it a minute and get some going. Okay, there we go. Sometimes you just gotta give it a squeeze. Oh, there's something on this roof. What is that? I don't know. I got a blob on here. And do your chimney. And over here, and then I'm going to put a little bit down here too, just kind of all over. Give it some sparkle. So I got two carloads of junk out of my mother's apartment today. 
which was good. And she was very excited because I cleaned out her whole storage closet. Now she can put stuff in there and cleaned out a lot of stuff. But it just kills me every time I go over there. It looks exactly the same as it did before I started the last time. So I know when I go back next time, it's going to look bad again. So that part's kind of depressing. But if any of you guys have been there, you know how it is. I just don't ever want to have to have somebody do that for me <laughs> because it's a hard job. And I was picking out stuff. I mean, she had baskets and stuff from like the 70s, like these little wicker baskets that are so 70s looking. And I was like, OK, that's definitely trash. And he's like, oh, no, I love that. And then she used to make wreaths and stuff, and she had so much floral stuff. It was crazy. And it was so dusty. I'm like, okay, let's just throw it all away. She's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I was like, oh, come on. All right, so let's just glue all these pieces together. And then we're going to have to put dimensionals on the back of everything. Oh, thanks, Diane. Oops, almost put it on the wrong side. And we had Chick-fil-A for lunch. I went and picked up lunch. We had Chick-fil-A, and of course we had to get Frosty Lemonades, which is my favorite. Laura, oh, you've had 67 kids trick-or-treating? Dang. I don't think I have enough candy for 67 kids. I have like four bags of candy, but I don't know if that's 67. <laughs> All right, so this one we're going to put, I'm going to put tape on the back of this one. So let's get some tape and put these down so we just separated it cut it hamburger way in half and then you're going to put this behind it and just go up a little bit and down a little bit and it makes it look like you have a stamp I mean a punch bigger than your real punch so that's that now we need to put everything on dimensionals so we're going to just flip it all over and get them all dimensional. So that's going to take a second. So luckily I have a whole big sheet of dimensionals here. I miss those days of trick or treating <laughs> when my daughter was young. That was kind of fun. I haven't done it in so long because she's going to be 29 this year. So I haven't been trick or treating in. Uh, let's see, almost 20 years, probably like 17 years. Because here you can't trick-or-treat after 12, even though some kids do. That's kind of what irritates me is when kids come to your door and they're like 18 years old and they have a pillowcase and they're not dressed up and you're like, really? <laughs> and then what also kills me is sometimes women will come around with a stroller and their baby is like, probably a year old or less and they have a, a bag for their kid and you're like okay I know that kid can't eat that candy so you're just going around to get candy for yourself but that's okay if they're that desperate for candy I'll give them some all right so this bunny you're gonna put like one and a half on we'll get a little half of one there I did little treats for um, people at work and made goodie bags with candy and took them to work and gave them out. Had to make 28 of them. So that was a lot. So I went through a lot of candy <laughs> doing that. All right, so I think I have everything with dimensionals. And then we're going to put these two together first. And what you have to do for the frame, it comes with um, this inside of it. So what you need to do is trim the corners for this black piece because it won't fit in there if you don't. If you get the ones from Michaels, some other frames might work, but the ones from Michaels, you do have to trim these corners. Okay, so then we're going to put these two together. So there is about three quarters of an inch between all the edges here. So we're just going to put the glue. Why do I flip the paper over when it's the same on both sides? I don't know. 
Okay. But I'm glad I got everything done today, all the yard and everything, because tomorrow I can stamp all day long because I don't have to do anything else. So I'm very excited. All right, hopefully that is straight. Looks pretty good, I think. All right, so then you're gonna position everything where you want it. So we get the um, house here. This one goes at the top. This one goes with the words on it. So let's go ahead and put the words on there. And then also you need your little ribbon. So this will go, oops, that's crooked. What is everybody's favorite candy? Mine is, I have actually a couple. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups is probably one of my favorite favorites. But then my other one, which nobody would give this out for Halloween, are uh, Giardelli dark chocolate with sea salt caramel. I love, love, love those. So that is one of my favorites. And then those Sanders, I think I've showed you guys those before. They come from Costco. They're Sanders uh, milk chocolate caramels. Those are like to die for. I love anything with chocolate and caramel together. But Reese's are my favorite, like Halloween candy. Oh, there is another one that's really good too. Have you guys ever had the Snickers peanut butter? That is good. I got everybody at work addicted to those. But you can only find them at Halloween. I've never seen them any other time of the year. So Snowman goes on this bottom one. White chocolate Reese's cup. Oh, I've never had that. Butterfingers, love Butterfingers. Payday, yep, love Payday. Milky Way, love Milky Way, but I like Snickers better. All right, this snowman is gonna go right on the bottom and his arms are gonna stick out a little bit, but that's okay. The bottom is out of the camera. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, let me move this and I'll push it up a little bit. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, can you guys see it now? You don't like chocolate? What? Hey, Kathy. All right, can you guys see it now? Everything? Or is it still off? Okay. All right, we gotta put this little uh, piece of ribbon on, so we're just gonna tie a little knot and put that on with the glue dot. Let me trim it up and put my glue cap back on. So we're just gonna trim this a little bit. Does anybody else love those Giardelli like me? Those are so good. The sea salt caramel dark chocolate is the best. And it's also good if you cut it up and put it on ice cream. Like just get vanilla bean ice cream and put it on there. Mm, it's good. All right, so put that right there above your words. And then we're going to put a silver pearl on here, which is really, whoops, like a blue pearl. They're silver, but they look blue. So we're gonna put that right there. All right, so now we've got everything laid out exactly where we want it. So then you just take one at a time and put them down. So I'm gonna start with this top tree. Hopefully I'm not off the camera again. Isn't that not allowed have to like some chocolate? I know it. I like white chocolate okay, but it's not, not my favorite. I'd much rather have milk chocolate. I never ever liked dark chocolate in my whole life because the only dark chocolate I ever had was those um, like Hershey's Special Dark, which I think are disgusting. And so I never liked dark chocolate. And then I tried uh, Giardelli when, after I um, you know, got older. And that Giardelli chocolate is, and so Dove chocolate too. Those are the two best chocolates. Those are the only ones I'll eat now, besides Reese's peanut butter cups. But if you just want like a plain old piece of chocolate, then you gotta have Giardelli or Dove, because they are way better. All right, so let's do the Merry Christmas. Put that down here, and you wanna make sure they're all lined up straight. Hopefully I'm getting these straight. And then we'll do the cabin. Take all these um, dimensionals off. Special dark is your favorite. Oh. <laughs> Have you ever had 
the Dove dark chocolate or Ghirardelli dark chocolate. They're like so much better. They're just so good. All right, so this one goes right on top of that. And then we've got the last two pieces and we are done. And you just put it in the frame and that's it. So we're doing good. That's we're at 40 minutes now, so that's not too bad cuz I didn't really start till like 10 minutes into it. So you can make this in 30 minutes if you have all the paper cut. And I've got three extras that I've got to make tomorrow because I always cut extra for class just in case people sign up at the last minute. I'm going to turn this this way. Okay. There we go. So some of these I had to do eighths just because that was the only way it would fit. So there you go. Can you see the whole thing? Thanks, Beverly. You love the non pareils which are dark chocolate. Are those those little things with like the pearls on them? I don't think I've had them before, but I think I know what they are. Let me see if I missed any comments because I know I haven't, whoops, I haven't been looking at them all. Special dark. Lindor, oh, Lindor truffles, yes, those are good. Let's see, what else did I miss? I think that was it. Oh, you like the sound of kids being able to trick or treat at a certain time and age, yes. Yes, they're pretty strict here, but then you always have the people, you know, those kids that are way old and don't even dress up. All right, I think I got all the comments. So, what do you guys think? You think this is pretty easy? You can make it yourself. And now you can see it without the glare if I don't put it in the frame. Hopefully this is all in the camera. I'll turn it this way, maybe you can see the whole thing. <laughs> I don't know why it's not all fitting. Because I think it fit before when I had it in the frame, but I guess not. Hopefully you can see most of it. All right, so thank you guys so much for joining me on my date night with Lisa stamping. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you'll make some of these for friends and um, family for Christmas because it makes a great Christmas gift. And then you can make the card to go with it. So if you want the directions for the cards, the um, snowman card that I did with it, that is from last week so just go on YouTube and that's the envelope to go with it so just go on YouTube and it's about a week ago so you can find it on there don't forget if you want to order anything here's the um, host code until tomorrow and then I'm gonna start a new one November 1st and you just go to stampingwithlisa.com and I would love to have you as a customer if you want to order from me I would love it and I'll send you a little gift or two or three depending on how big your order is I have to trim this one little smidge more all right, so there we go. You guys have a great rest of your weekend. I'll be back Tuesday with another video. Not sure what I'm doing yet, but I'm sure it will be great. So you guys have a great relaxing Sunday, and I'll see you in a few days. Bye-bye.